up. What's your name? My name is Femi Grace. Okay, Femi, you have the floor. Oh, to Jesus, I surrender to Him, my free. I will ever love and trust him in his praises daily live. Oh, I what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. At least, we finally got a singer. Mm -hmm. you can say that again. So, <laughs> Femi praise. Femi praise. It's a yes for me. Wow. It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. Um, Femi. Congrats. You are qualified to contest at the grand finale of the competition. Congratulations. Hallelujah! 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 James, let's see what you have for us. Um, um, I want to sing Reggae. Reggae is good. Um, some people like me, me no like them. I like some people, they don't like me. It's only God that can judge us all. Oh, Jesus, Bobo. Bobo, Jesus, Bobo. Jesus, boy. Now my 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 Jesus, Baba. Jesus, boy. Now my Jesus, Baba. Jesus, boy. Now my Jesus, Baba. Um, another one, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I want to sing. Okay. I want to sing. All right. I want to sing. I want to sing. I want to sing. What? I want to sing. I want to sing. Sing. I want to 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 sing. My name is Comfort and Marshall. Um, so, Madam Comfort, do you think you can win this mega musical competition? I don't think I can win this competition, but I know I will win by my faith in the name of my Jesus. Because of this competition, I've been praying and fasting for the past seven days 
and I know that my father cannot fail me. I have a father that can never, never fail me. Uh, I guess the competition has started already. No, I've not started though. I'm just warming up. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, let's see what you can do. You have two minutes. I wish you the very best. Okay. Mufara mola ru baba lola. Mufara mola ru orekoya. Mufara mola ru baba lola. Baba lola lo mi yere o mi. Baba lola lo mi yere o. When peace like a river. Tend it my way when sounds like seas billows roll. Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. And that was the first and qualifying stage of the IGM competitions. Heavy one, both the good and the poor singers came from nooks and crannies of the nation to compete for the IGM award. I was also one of the contestants, and while I sat back on my seat, wondering why those poor singers were not intimidated or afraid to compete with great singers in such a standard mega competition. Then I remembered my encounter with a young man seven years ago who exhibited a similar trait. And this is why I always say, never hesitate to swim against the tide in a ocean of life. Neither be afraid and stay confined in the well of limitation, but be courageous and stand a chance to frolic in the rivers to prepared places. Everything to you I wanna love you like the way you cry 
much love to try. I want to give my whole life. That you should carry on it to me. And together we shall do the wheel of God. In the jar, I'm out in touch Hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. There is a particular lady in our church. Hmm. I love her so much. Ah. Okay now, Brother Akadi. Yes. Can you share more of your convictions concerning this sister? I mean, what exactly did you see? Or did you hear anything particularly from God? Um, actually, sir, I did not see any fission. But what really formed the basis of my confession 
is this intense desire and love that I have for this sister. Sir, and this has lingered for two good years, two good years, but I'm just afraid. I don't want to miss the will of God for my life. I'm scared I might miss it. Okay, that's okay. But firstly, you will have to quit this fear of not wanting to miss the will of God for your life. Okay? Because actually God is more concerned about our lives than we really are. And therefore he's so committed to guiding us to the place of fulfilling his purpose for our lives. But most of the times when God is guiding us towards fulfilling purpose, he does not come by audible voice, trance, or even angelic visitations. No. What God does is simply put his love and desire in our spirit. And his Holy Spirit simply guides our steps towards the fulfillment. You see, but unfortunately we, we neglect this inner witness most times because we feel it's too simple to be from God. Now if you always wait for God to speak through dreams before taking decisions in life, you are just wasting your time. And your achievements in life will definitely be limited because that's not the primary way God usually leads his children. Now don't get me wrong. Visions and dreams are, are also biblical ways through which God speaks. But I don't think you would need to sleep before you hear your own father. And by the way, every dream must always be proved by the witness of the Holy Spirit and by the word of God. Thank you, sir. By the way, who is this lady in question? Hmm. Her name is Sister Karu. That fair, fine, and fantastic singer. Mm. Now tell me, do you know whether Sister Caroline is in a relationship or not? No, sir. I don't know, sir. So what do you really know about this lady? My dear, all I know about this lady is that she's just too difficult to please. She's so strict and she expects so much from people. Out of all, I think we're about 20 people, 20 people auditioned last three months and she selected just to, to join the choir, imagine. And we all know that we need more people in the choir now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many are we now? <laughs> uh -huh. You should at least give people the opportunity to show forth their God-given talent. Uh -huh. I mean, we all know this good when we just started singing in the choir now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, and now next week is the next choir audition. <laughs> and I won't be surprised if she doesn't qualify anyone to join the choir. That would be a shame. <sighs> what? It's enough of that talk. Oh, are you friends at all? How do you propose marriage to a complete stranger? Don't you know that by getting closer and interacting more with this lady, you get to discover things that will either confirm or query your convictions about her. For example, do her core values agree with the principle of the word of God? Her love for God? Her attitudes? Her submission level? Even her character? Although no one is perfect, but listen to Nothing is as good as proposing to a friend. Hmm. Okay, look. Oh, 
Akodi. I understand you perfectly. I have been there before. You need courage. And you know, courage, they say, is not the absence of fear, but the ability to face your fear and still do the right thing. That is courage. Now, if you're really convinced that Caroline is the will of God for your life, then go take what belongs to you. You know, the Bible says there is no fear in love. Let me pray with you. Don't try it! Pray with it! Don't even try it! Don't attempt to try it at all! Young man, how dare you budge through my door like that without the courtesy of knocking? I'm very, very sorry, sir. Sir, I'm... You! You! I can't even watch you yourself. Oh, so you want to marry my sister Caroline? My very own sister Carol! Don't be surprised, I was outside listening to your conversation about Carolina, my future wife. Don't even think of trying it at all. Uh, well, you never told me you were engaged to Carol. Um, you see, actually, sir, uh, I have not proposed to Caroline, but I have claimed her severally and received her several times in the place of prayer. Now, I can do what do you call yourself. Now you tell me which of your convictions are more spectacular and realistic as mine. Oh, let me start telling you. Now you tell me, where were you? When I saw the angels of the Lord ascending and descending in a three division. Sir, not to the bro, not one D. I I mean three division. Tell me Caroline is my wife. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have not had anything yet. Now you tell me, where were you? When the hand of the almighty God himself wrote the name of Sister Caroline in Hebrew in my room, on the wall of my room. Now, you tell me, let me finish you up with this. Just listen. Listen. Just yesterday, I can yesterday when I was having my quiet time, you see, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me. He said, My son, just go to the book of Isaiah 40, verse 1. And I was like, Isaiah 40, verse 1. Is, is this my business? But then I went here, sir. It says, Comfort ye. Comfort ye. All ye people. Says the Lord of us. How is that my business, sir? But please, you won't believe. Just today, Akonde, just today. You see, I have heard some people saying, Sister Caroline's middle name is Comfort. Then I got to know that Comfort here was actually a melody in my ear. Comfort, yeah. Comfort, yo, yeah. Now you tell me, which of your convictions are more spectacular than this? Are you even sure it's not some adolescent crush on infatuation? No, 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 no. You watch your talk. Young man, how dare you say such an idle word against a fellow brother here in my very presence? Uh -uh. Look, no matter how spectacular or seemingly dramatic your revelations are, it doesn't give it heavenly authenticity, okay? And remember the Bible says that nothing, nothing should be done through strife or vainglory. Come on! Now, I think you both need to go and pray over these things. Then... With all due respect, sir. Sir, with all due respect. With the situation of things now, I think the endless expectation of Sister Caroline awaits my manifestation. As such, first thing tomorrow morning, I need to go propose to Caroline before this thing go ahead and take, take her as his wife. Now, listen to me. I can do what you can do. The next time I see you with Sister Caroline, Akonde, if you don't desist from my Caroline, oh God, Akonde, I will make life a living hell for you. You try me and see. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for bugging to your office. It's a cheat. My brother, brother Marcos, where is it, Yes, sir. Hey, it's good I said that you need to hear, sir. There is something important and sensitive that I need to ask you, sir. Sir, I don't know if you know about this sister in the choir, the one that sang prayer, uh, uh, I mean, choir ministration last week, sir. 
his sister Caroline. <laughs> yes, yes. Sir, what I need to ask you about this sister is that I don't know if you know if she's a particular relationship. Sir, because you so you won't understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. Sir, sir, this sister is someone I love. Sir, I love her so much from the depth of my heart, sir. Sir, and this one is real, sir. Sir, I could read, sir. You know, let me explain the place of that. Sir, anytime she's singing on the altar, Jesus. Sir, everything in me begins to stand up. Everything begins to change, sir. Sir, and since that time, I have discovered that this sister is a bone of my blood and a flesh of my flesh. We are meant to be together, sir. <laughs> sir, but you know, I was thinking maybe it was just me being infatuation, you know, this infatuation. But God confirmed it today. <laughs> God simply confirmed everything simply today, sir. Sir, let me explain something to you. As I was coming to the church today, Jejeli, Jejeli, sir, I just saw a particular shop. <laughs> And in the shop, they said things, and the spirit said, Go in and get something to drink. And I said, Why, why do I need to get something? He said, Go in, sir. And I decided to go in. When I got there, I was thinking, What will I buy? And he said, Buy Coke. Buy Coke. I was like, Ah, Coke. What will I use Coke for? He said, Buy Coke. I said, What will I use Coke for? I just I decided to follow the, the voice of the, the voice that was speaking to me. And I bought the Coke, sir. Sir, you won't believe what I saw, sir. Let me show you, sir. I just saw the name of Sister Caroline boldly written on the bottle of Coke, sir. You won't believe it, sir. The Holy Spirit is one. The Holy Spirit has just confirmed me that Sister Calora is the bone of my bone. Sir, you know what I did? I just opened it. And after opening it, I just drank it in, sir. <laughs> because I know that it is the Holy Spirit that has sent Sister Caroline inside this bottle. So that Sister Caroline will believe in me. Sir, right now, Sister Caroline is living in me. <laughs> sir, take a look at this, sir. <laughs> take a look at this, sir. God remains faithful. God is the original God. <laughs> sir, don't let it be too long in your hands, sir. Because I don't want anything to stain my thing with Sister Caro. Sir, what I want you to know now is that you see this bottle. I'm going to show it to everyone. Everyone in the world, I'm going to show it to them, sir. Sir, I'm going to show it to my children. I mean, the one Sister Caro, let me give back to for me. Oh. <laughs> and even our great grandchildren, sir. That truly the Lord is real. The Lord has spoken. I only bless the name of the Lord for this. God is wonderful. Sir, let me not waste your time, sir. Because I know you might be going somewhere, sir. Let me not waste your time at all, at all. Sir, I don't know, sir. Where I can find Sister Caro? I need to tell her. I need to tell her, express my mind and tell her what God has said. Yes, sir. Where can I find her, sir? Sir. Yes, sir, sister Carol. Sir. What? Why? Ah. This man is wicked, won't he? Enemy of progress. Anyway, is that enemy of progress? Ministry, so ah! you can sing, oh. you can sing by Java, yeah. yeah. I know, right? <laughs> um, Sister Caro, 
How are you? I just told you I'm fine. By the way, I'm Caroline, not Caro. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Sister Caro. I'm sorry, Sister Caroline. Um, please, there's something very important we have to talk. Please, when shall we see? Hey, shall we talk now? Yes. <laughs> Um, um, you know, when I saw you in the shows, and you were singing, you were singing, I, I really, I was so, I was so blessed. My life was transformed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that ministration. And, um, Caroline, what's up? Hi. You see, that was a very melodramatic rendition from a melodious and melophilious sister like singer like you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Sister Caroline, I would like to see you for a minute. Okay. Excuse us. You see, Brother Marcos. Yes. As you can see, we were having a very, very serious conversation before you came. You cannot just come out and take it away like that. You've had enough of her. It's my turn to talk to her. See, no, you're Caroline, to tell him to leave me alone. See, see, see. You are not even holding her spiritually. Don't you know she's a weaker vessel? Mm, and I am the stronger vessel here. Ah, you watch it live by hand. just see for a minute. Ah, ah, come back here. Ah, ah. Well, my brother, see, this is the household of faith. You should learn to respect a fellow brother in Christ. And you cannot be behaving like a And you, Akonde, you need to respect ladies. How will you be holding a lady like this? Please, ah, thank you. Leave me alone. See, ah, 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 hey, Akonde, you Akonde. have a kid, you. Ah, I have a You have a kid. Don't start what you are not finish. The old man is still working in you. Ah. And the old man is not complaining. See, come what? back here. Ah. Come back here. What, what, what is the matter with you? want to you? break my hand? You don't understand. You need some concision of the heart. Akonde, don't start what you can't finish with me. Put out yeah, of your senses. Brother Marcos. Akonde. Leave her alone. Akonde, don't start what you can't finish with me. I said leave her. You are not going. Yeah. You are. so much for the ride and thanks for rescuing the church today. Alright. So. I left you in church. How on earth did you get here before me? Yes, I carried by from the source and, and I passed through the short court. Sister Caro, I'm very, very sorry for what happened in the source the other time. But Sister Caro, you have been in glory all my attempt to be your friend. Is that just supposed to be my first? Eh? Imagine. Can you even come here without my permission? My parents will not even see me talking to somebody like you. Ah. Somebody like me? But why? Seriously, you're asking that question. See, see the way you look. Ah! Look at your combinations. In fact, I'm not even sorry to say you stink. Ah. It's not smelly. Come on, come Let's on. just stay there. But, but please, just give me five minutes. Five minutes out of your time, please. In fact, I'm not even comfortable talking to you here. Please, just go. I'm, I'm going inside the house. But, but please, I need to tell you something very, very important. Oh, yeah, let's go outside and say it. Let's go outside and say it. So I'm all here. What do you want to say? 
know what I want to say. Please, I don't have any idea of what you want to say. What do you want to say? Don't you notice how my eyes are showing you in the shorts? You know what I want to say. Look at me, Mister. See, I am just from coming from church, and I need to rest. So if you have nothing to say, just leave. Ah, uh, uh, no, now, no. Okay, okay. I will talk now. I will talk. But before I talk, can, can we pray that the Holy Ghost will give me heart trance and boldness to deliver the message the way I ought to? Message? So you came here for another ministration? No, not like that. No, like, but get, let's just let's just pray. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Hey, Olua! Hot trans! Hey! Hello, Rumose! Hello, Elijah! Hey, hot trans! In the name of Jesus! Olua! Hey! Olua! Father! Hot trans! Hot trans! Baba! Baba! Hey! Olua! In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying! Sister Caro? Sister Caro? Sister Caro? Sister is very, very canal. She cannot even tarry with me for two hours. Ordinary two hours. <sighs> Next time we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> um, you see, um, Austin, you see, there's something I actually want to talk to you about. You see, um, there's this particular girl I'm in love with, and I don't know. I'm be trying to talk to her, but I don't know. She's not just listening, and I can't have a friend like you. And um, I keep stressing myself all over. <laughs> so I've decided to walk out to my dear Austin and seek for your advice. So what's that supposed to mean? I'm not actually seeing anything bad here. Eh? I'm only appreciating your AM talent, you know? I'll be correct, Christian Ball down. You! So no go spend my name outside you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know you're talking wait, to Marco Zio, eh? By the way, who be this babe? Um, she's Caroline by name. She's yeah. the finest girl in the choir. And, um, but you told me you were also led to one particular sister in nursery department uh, sometimes ago. Austin, 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 eh? You love telling stories a lot. You see, how do you expect someone like me to go out with a lady that is filled with bone and bone marrow? You know it's not possible. Even the Bible says it in the book of Psalm 92, verse 14, that the righteous shall be fat. I, Marcos, I deserve something very, very fat. So I will grab it. Rema Revelation. Preach that gospel, sir. Yeah, you, sir. You, you know but the flesh one. and blood that we read it to you, sir. <laughs> now you know that one. See, I still, let me be realistic with you. Before I was blind, but now my eyes are wide open and mm. I can see. I see something very, very fat coming my way because I am a righteous man. Mm. So that's why I see it. I see. Smart guy. You know what we do. I don't know what we put us like today. Can you find it like this? So. Uh, uh. Mm. so wait, wait, because I be Christian brother now, I know this has something way fine. Eh? So because I be Christian brother now, may I go something way, 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 way with an ordinary bone there? See, nobody say I like fine girl rule. Eh? But now within the Holy Spirit is revealed to me now. Now here I may I just tell you. Hmm? Now confirm now. So what's stopping you now? Uh, actually, no say. I beg move close and make I show you how you can catch the babe. Alright. If you insist, let's go. Hello everyone, I welcome you to this edition of the Church Choir Audition. As we all know, in every six months we audition new members who are interested to be part of us. Before we absorb them, we have to test their talent 
and skill management to be sure that can be part of us, isn't it? Yes. So, now let the audition start. Yes. My name is Joshua Ugunleke. You are Alpha. Hey, no, me. Why did you come on in this place? Eh? And, and, and what does it look like I have come to do? Oh, what kind of question is that? So you came be here because of Sister Caroline. You are very shameless. I have come to use my talent for God. Eh? You! Talent! Oh, you are a joker. Eh? You, you have talent the way you are. So let's wait and see. Let's wait and see now. You you tried, you tried. You you sang well, but your composition is not, it's not so, so tight. It's not tight. Well, well, I'm, I'm not satisfied. Please, maybe you'll try the next edition. Yes, the next person. I am Marcos by name.
This is beautiful. Yes. Good. Now we have a new member. Yes. Please join us. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. Good, good, good. Yes, the next person. My name is Akonde. Akonde? Who are all those people? Where are they from? These are my instrumentalists from the village. You mean you brought all these people from the village? Oh, okay, okay. Let's hear what you, what you have. Ah, hey, ah, oh. hola. Baby, I'll call you. Modela tigi baba yo, yo. Modela tigi baba yo. Oh, lady, I just want you. I just want you. The motivation is you. I just want you. Center of my joy, center of my joy. Feeling of the value, center of my joy. Hola. Though Fuji is not bad, but for me, it is worldly. It is worldly. It, it is too carnal. But that is my own style of music. Yes, your own style of music. But that is not our style here. This is the church of God. This is not an event center. Sorry, you are not born to sing. Please, take your leave. <laughs> Please, the next person. Brother Kondi. That was a nice performance. Thank you. But, you know, I'll just advise you listen and call foreign music so you can widen your audience. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. But you tried. 
So, bro, Mark Hobbs, that was a wonderful rendition. Oh, it's good, thank you and so much. And it was much. a really sound, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry, just give oh. me a minute, please. Okay. Yeah. okay. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. You have an amazing voice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I never knew you were this cute anyway. Wow, wow, that's, that's amazing. Well, to be really realistic with you, Ladies do say I'm actually cute, but you know, I'm a very, very sensible and um, spiritual brother. Uh, and um, I'm a very smart one. You know, I just have to try my best not to be proud. I have to be very, okay. very humble. Right. Because everyone is the main target and I really want to make everyone. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. So, where are you up to right now? I'm going home. Caroline. You see, I just want to appreciate you for honoring my invitation. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you very well. So, why are we here? <clears throat> Now you had a study, now you be my book. Mm, okay, I can be your cook. No matter what they say, I go be with you. My super little, I, I go dance for you. Because of you, I go fight for you. Okay, I go fight for you. Doing so 
something with someone. Oh, no. can you please reduce the volume of the TV? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 I'm not busy. You mean right now? Okay, where should we meet? Oh, okay, alright. Then I'll be right there. Like in a split second. Alright, okay. See you. Caroline! Caroline! Serious? You're asking that question. See, see the way you look. Ah! Look at the combination. In fact, I'm even sorry to say you stink. Hello, Akade. Hello, Boda I am fine, I am fine. Please, do you have a very, very fine suit? Hey, hey, Hello, Marcos. Hello, Caroline. How are you? Yeah. Um, I just left home now. I'm going to school actually. Yeah, I came home to just tell you how I feel about you, you know. Oh, but, but seriously, I'm not really happy with the way you did the last time. You know, you just, you just left me for an intruder like that. Without even calling to apologize or say anything. That's the point, Marcos. I was never sorry and I'm still not sorry. I need to let you know that at this point, I can't date you, let alone marry you. Fine, you seem to be a good man, I have a good heart, but my heart is with someone else. And for your information, it's even right here in front of me. If you do not mind, I would like to be with him right now. So, thank you very much and I wish you the very best in life. Bye. Alright. Yeah, bye. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Kalu. <laughs> Don't mind those brothers, so they can be very, very funny at times. Hey, <laughs> now my sister. The Bible says, he that findeth a wife has found a good thing and he has obtained people from the Lord. See, my sister, I am very convinced that you are the bone of my bone and the, and the flesh of my flesh. <laughs> in fact, I, I, I even saw us in the dream. We were dancing. We were dancing and we were singing together. <laughs> Please, I want to What nonsense! Dreams? Me? You want to marry me? Are you out of your mind? Do I look cheap to you? See this ordinary guy now, proposing to a university student. You don't even own an Okada, let alone a car. Oh my god, I feel so insulted and humiliated right now. Couldn't you hold the trash you've always wanted to tell me? Just get out of my sight, please. Please, please, sister. What's it? One, one more thing. Please, Sister Karo, please marry me. I love you very, very much. Please.
Akonde! 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 Yeah. What are you doing here? Huh? Sister Karo? You slapped me? Yes, I did. What are you doing here? I still want to discuss with you. Confused that Sister Caroline is the will of God for my life. But as it were, it's just as if the Lord has not led me or spoken to me in any way. Because, sir, I just feel like quitting at this time. I feel like moving on with my life. After all, I think love is supposed to be mutual. Can you please listen to me? Sir, I can't continue again. Ah, God. Listen to me. In the book of Judges, chapter 20, the children of Israel inquired of the Lord whether they should go fight a battle. But in spite of the fact that God gave them a go ahead, God still allowed 
the enemies to slay a majority of them in the first and second days of the battle to teach them a lesson. Hmm. But you know, they still kept going back to God to know what he was saying at the moment and not just for what he said to them at the beginning. Now the point here is this. When what you heard in the spirit does not tally with what you are experiencing in the physical, what do you do next? You don't just quit. You just go back to God and reconfirm again and again. Now you would remember that Caroline is a free moral agent and God will not, under any circumstance, manipulate her will for you. So if what God is saying to you at the moment is to move on, then please go ahead because he has so many substitutes for his children. But listen, if he tells you to wait patiently, then please wait because God could also still be working on her. So what am I saying in effect? Chase the word of God part time. And not just the woman. In the meantime, I want to say this to you. Akode. You need to upgrade yourself so as to attract the kind of woman you dream for. Because the most spiritual of women is still an emotional being. And they are subject to physical attractions as well. Now, this is the time to work on yourself. I mean, your dress sense your accent, even your financial capacity.
have a surprise for you. Really? Yeah. Okay. So just close your eyes. Close it. <laughs> close your eyes. Alright, alright, you're closed. Close your eyes. I'm okay, close. Okay. Close it. Press it. What is it? <laughs> yes, I just have little pains in my fingernails, just that's all. Sorry. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, wow. It's just a chop chop. Huh? Won't he do what he called me here for? Caroline, I think we're done here. So, let's go. I think this is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, yes, I'll marry you! Excuse oh, me. I don't understand what you're talking about here. Oh, you thought I wanted to propose to you? No, now. I can't marry you now. I thought you knew that already. I just like you as my girlfriend. You're you're not my kind of woman. Austin, we, we dated for, for almost seven years. You've told me almost everything about you, your, your past, your future plans, even your dream house. <laughs> you tell me confidential things about you, even without asking. You even disvirgined me, but even though I wasn't comfortable with it, I rolled with it because I felt you were still going to marry me someday. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Why are you making me feel I'm the worst man on earth? There's nothing strange in what I did, which of course is a game of chance. And it's simply called dating. So you played games with my life for good seven years, Austin. After I turned out several proposals because of you, you practically let me off for so long. Austin, you're such a wicked man. You're such a wicked man. You're wicked. Listen, Caroline. You feel I'm wicked, right? Yes, you're wicked. But you're so godly, but you. Did I tell you to turn down any man's proposal just because of me? If you get to know if I had many married intentions for you, can you just ask me why I've been hanging around you all this while? Or is there any crime in asking questions? And by the way, I never really loved you from the onset. Don't tell you, you know. I even gave my coffee for now to win your heart. <laughs> Only for me to discover you were kind of obsessed about me.
Yes. 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 This is the surprise package I intend to show you. I'll take this. Get your dirty hands off me. I say get your dirty hands off me right now. how I ended my relationship with Austin and ever since then I haven't got teen proposals for any man so this is this is frightening and it's it's scary I don't I don't know if you understand what I'm saying I get at least two proposals per week even in school I was I, I was the talk of the fellowship guys were all over me but now it's like the heavens have just closed over me so I don't understand Hmm, Caroline, Stop. I perfectly understand you. And I really empathize with you. But see, we can't just do things the worldly way and expect godly results. No, we can't. How do you mean, sir? What you call dating is a worldly, foreign, concept that leaves out the place of first seeking the face of God before establishing a relationship because it's based on experimental trial by error. Now this makes people hop from one relationship to the other in search of love without seeking the love himself. You know what I mean? But come to think of it, if Jesus really decided to test run us before choosing us, <laughs> then we would never, ever be his bride because we did not qualify in the first place to be his bride. Yet, he chose us and not only that, he purified us just because we are his father's will. Now, the place of praying for God's guidance at the point of choosing a partner is key. But it's a pity that it's fading out in this generation. It's really a pity. But I guess that's because we are scared that God will force someone who do not love on us. And, and then we'll go about finding the person we love ourselves. And that's how far that ideology has helped you. Mind you, the God I know will not force anyone on you to marry. For scripture says, his spirit will not always strive with man. Rather, the God I serve will show you a good thing and then he allows you to prove and choose it by your renewed mind. And of course, by his Holy Spirit that dwells in you. Trust me. If it is the will of God, then rest assured that your heart will sincerely love it. Now, now tell me, who do you perceive in your spirit should be your husband out of all those men who have ever proposed to you? No one, sir. Are you sure? No, I, I think it's one brother like that. One brother like that? And that's his name? They, they call him Brother Conde. 
my heart never ceases to desire him without any genuine reason. <laughs> but I cannot marry that kind of brother. Eh hey, hey. And why? <laughs> so I can't believe you're asking me that question. With mm. all those is over size parachute he calls a suit. It's terrible in your accent like that of Arion or Kankafo. Even his, his tribal marks are horrible. Uh, Sir, it's not possible. The Bible says it what he has towards me. I have good and not of evil to give me hope and your future. Sir, there is no future, there's no hope with that kind of man. Isn't it, isn't it obvious that this, this man is sure? A visionary and anointed gospel singer who has depth for the things of God. Hmm. Isn't it obvious that he's a meek, tender, and very patient Christian? Isn't it obvious that... So that is not what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> you have been looking toward the wrong direction. Now listen to the truth. Scripture says, Why we look not unto those things which are seen, but to those things which are not seen. Caroline. You have unfortunately chosen to focus on the things which are subject to change. He doesn't speak well, he dresses local, and is not touche as you youth would want to put it, right? <laughs> These are little things that you can walk upon, even yourself, in an atmosphere of love and patience. But mind you, if what you want is a perfect and ready-made husband, then you can be sure that you have no ministry in his life. But sir, I've, I've wronged this man. I've hurt him with my words and actions. Because I felt he was too persistent. Yes, he was. Because he was too convinced about you. Yes, listen, do you know that this same man was praying on a certain day in the corner of his room and like a flash, the glory of the Lord filled that room and that got his sick mother healed. Now you would want to know that that mother is still hale and hearty today. She was healed without any drugs. But sir, uh, I slapped him. I was verbally violent against him. I was... I soaked his clothes with water. I... I... My Caroline! What? You did all that? My goodness. But... I can't did not tell me all this. But I guess that's because he did not want to paint you black before me. Hmm. What love. Now, you really have to go look for this man anywhere you can find him. Not for the sake of any marriage proposal, but to apologize and ask for his sincere forgiveness. Okay? <laughs> I pray the Lord have mercy on you. Hey, look. out of every one of us that went for the first stage of IGM competitions last month, only you, only you, Caroline, qualified for the finals of this competition. Now, next week is the grand finale of this competition, and I've not been seeing you rehearsing. Caroline, hey, you really need to win this competition and make us proud, you know. We are all counting on you, Caroline. Eh? Yes. Caroline, oh, are you still bothered about your attitude towards Akonde? Uh-uh, Caroline, don't worry. 
God has forgiven you and his mercy will bring you another man. Cheer up, Caroline. Cheer up and continue rehearsing. Cheer up, Caroline. Everything is fine. Cheer up. Smile. Okay. Caro, Caro. 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 I'm Dennis Smith. I'm the moderator of Interdenominational Gospel Musical Competition, aka IGM Competitions. As we all know, that this is an award-winning competition that started 10 years ago. We have been sponsored all over the world by international companies and other NGOs within the country. Today is the final, the final stage, the grand finale of the competition. We have four qualified contestants in the house. Femi Praise from Abuja. Philip Chris from Delta, Olai Kabilu from Lagos, and Caroline Bamigui from Ibado. We also have four renowned judges in the house. Rotimi Roland, AK Gospel, Desmond Deep Praise, and Yewandeo Joe. Every contestant need at least three years to be qualified as the winner. Anyone among the three who has the highest score as graded by the judges will be the overall winner. Let's set the ball rolling. As you join us, sit right, sit tight, and enjoy the program. God bless you. Courage and confidence. You get it? Yes, Dad. You need to believe in yourself that you can do it and you will do it. Yes. All right? Yes. And again, importantly, you need to believe in God to help you. Yes, Dad. And I believe God will help you. Amen. It is well. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. Every 
creature unique with the song that it sings all exclaiming indescribable uncontainable you place the stars in the sky and you know
Caroline. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. No story from me, it's a yes. Uh, Caroline, that was a good one. Um, your voice is as beautiful as you are. Your pitching is great, yeah, and uh, your artwork is amazing. But um, but it's a yes. This is very dicey. Good job, if I may say, and you have really satisfied yourself. And uh, you remind me of my favorite artist. But I have to be very frank and I have to give you due respect. Though if you get a no from me, that is what you deserve. But I am giving you a yes. <laughs> Sister Caro, Sister Caro, I'm sorry. It's a no. I do to you. You know, I maltreated you. I, I was ignorant. But, but God enlightened me and I searched everywhere for you to, to show you how deeply and how sorry I, I am. But, but I couldn't find you. I later got to know you relocated and Yes, I did. I came here to Lagos to start a new life. I did all sorts of menial jobs just to save money for my whole levels. And thank God I cleared my paper once. I was admitted into the University of Lagos and that was where the Lord expanded my music ministry and connected me to a popular man of God. Who came to our fellowship to minister? He heard me singing and he was so blessed. And that was why he invited me to minister in his church. So, how much do you charge for administration? I need you to minister in my church. <clears throat> um, sir, I don't charge. It's my personal policy. However, you can bless me with whatever thing the Lord um, enables you. Really? 
Yes, sir. You see, before I called you here, I have called four different popular gospel artists, inviting them for a ministration in my church. But they all charged me heavily. And they even insisted that they won't come until I give them full payment of their money. <laughs> I bluntly told them not to bother again. Not because I cannot afford their charges. No. I'm a blessed man of God. But the moment money alone without sacrificial love for souls becomes a reason or motivation for ministering. My brother, it is no longer ministry, but purely business. Um, but sir, you can't really blame them. This principle of not charging before honoring invitations has made so many pastors take advantage of me. Some even promised to send money into my account after ministration, but they never did. I've had to trek back home several times because I was so broke and the pastor who invited me never gave me a honorarium. Come to think of it, sir, some of these gospel music artists don't do any other business. They don't do any other secular job. And they move around with instrumentalists who purely are professionals and definitely need to be paid. Look at me, brother. It may not be wrong to seek for financial assistance from pastors before honoring their invitations. If you are really broke. But it is very wrong to put a monetary obligation on them before ministering to God's people. Any sensible pastor who understands the Bible and ministerial ethics should know how to bless uh, the minister he has invited. Because the scripture says, Muzzle not the mouth of the horse that treadeth out the corn. But negligence on the part of some pastors should not now make the gospel artist place money before ministry. After all, Jesus, a full-time minister, never charged anyone before his ministration. Yet he was wealthy enough to have a treasurer. Well... I have a witness in my spirit to sow a seed of two million naira for the production of your song. Uh, for you? Oh, so. oh. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, so. oh. 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 Ah, Jesus! Well, this one moment of compensation from God will make you forget all the several disappointments of the past. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And this was how I got to this level. By the grace of God, I have won several awards. Local and international, God is good to me. Oh, I, I thank God for your life, Brother Conde, but I just want to say I'm deeply sorry once again, and I have to go now. Bye. Caroline. I still love you. Will you marry me? What? But you already have... Oh no! 
he's just my personal secretary. And of course, my friend. Oh, uh, Clara, Miss Caroline. Hello. My boss has told me so much about you. Nice meeting you. So, um, I'll get the competition soon. Now, the hour we have been waiting for is here. All right, I'm going to be announcing from the third position. And um, the third position goes to Yinka Bello! Is no other person than Chris Phillips. <laughs> the overall winner is. But sir, uh, I I maltreated you, and I've also. But you also challenged me, Caroline. It was the derogatory words that you said to me. That challenged me and got me determined to succeed in life. I just feel God in his wisdom used the mess in your own character to make a message out of my life. Caroline. Just the way I was a gardener in search of your love. The book of John 15 says, God also is a gardener. And all he wants from us and the entire universe is the fruit of love. But then, no man expects a fruit until he has sown the seed of it. Therefore, God came with his proposal. He came to propose eternal life to us, so that through his very life in us, we might bear the fruit of love thereby, reflecting his glory and his very essence to the world around us. But how many times did we reject God? How many times did we despise his proposal? We wounded him. Caroline, we bruised him. But yet, his aims of love are widespread on the cross to save, to deliver, and to forgive as many as will receive his proposal of eternal life. If God could go that far to love us even when we were his very enemies, so who am I? not to forgive a dear sister whom the Holy Ghost has broken. Caroline, I, I, I've always loved you, but the choice is still yours today. Caroline, are you now ready to follow me in the journey of life? No. I'm not just ready. I'm already in your life. Please, Caroline. Oh, there you are. Congratulations. You just emerged the first position and the very winner of IJM competition. You, you're joking. <laughs> Serious. Congratulations. <laughs> I thought you gave me a no. Yeah, I gave you a no. But I also scored you very high. <laughs> Because your song meant a lot oh my to God, me. I can't believe this. That's true. <laughs> so, please, come and claim your prize. Your world is waiting for you. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Of the award. 
If anyone had told me back in those days that oh, after they would be this great and glorious, I think I would have proposed to him on my knees with a long stemmed rose in my hand. Truly my heart desired a conde for no reason, but I also hated him for obvious reasons. There was this fierce contest within me, a contest between my flesh and my spirit. We all experience this contest within us daily. We always find ourselves struggling between going the way of the Lord and going our own carnal ways. And our hearts yearn for the final day of this contest when the victory over flesh will be permanently guaranteed. But the victory we hoped for actually happened 2000 years ago. Yes, this final contest happened on the cross of Calvary once and for all. And now the contest is over, the struggle is over. Our rebellious and sinful flesh was mothered with its lust and affection. Now we can please the Lord. Now we can live a life free of sin and struggles. Simply by believing in this reality we have in Christ Jesus. Who just like I can eat his glory in heaven. I came to us in the likeness of sinful flesh. Therefore, he has been rejected by the sons of perdition. And even the very redeemed are forsaken their first love. Hmm. But behold, a day cometh when all eyes shall see his glory with the Father. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Right now I see the Lord of hosts weeping on his knees with a long stem rose in his hand. As he proposes his life to you, give him a yes today because God's love is only long suffering, but never forever suffering. Jesus, I will go. I love to go wherever you go. Jesus, I love to be wherever you are. Abba, Father, I love to.
Adebola Timmy by name. Um, I played the role of Marcos in this great movie. And um, trust me, it was actually a nice one. It brought out the best in me because I saw myself doing things I've not done before. Dancing, singing, all because of a lady. It's actually nice. Um, but the fact is, the location was actually fun. I've never had the chance to um, get engaged in an overnight shoot before. This was my first time. And um, I would sincerely say this movie is the benchmark for other movies because I've not seen this type in Nigeria before. I want to implore you all to get it when it's out. I played the role of Caroline in the final contest movie. Uh, she was this Christian sister, so to say but she had issues with her attitude she's it's like she's not really broken it's actually my first time in a movie and and it's a comedy movie too so i had issues with all laughter and everything at some point i just had to keep and store my laughter inside um, and I would really want you to watch this movie. It's it's everything. If you're a lover of music, if you love comedy, if you love drama, if you love the word of God, if you want to know the truth, truth about relationships, truth about knowing the will of God in this present generation, then this is a movie you should see. It's a movie you should buy for somebody, this is a movie you should see in churches, in the cinemas, in everywhere, you can see everywhere. The Final Contest is a movie everyone should watch. It's a movie that, uh, that took a great step of faith from my path. You know, I can remember when I was writing the script, I walked up to one of my cousins who is deeply into movie production, and when he saw the vision, like she will be producing a movie that combine music with comedy, he, he probably felt, man, this is too much for you. This is supposed to be your first movie. So it was like, why not just start with short movies? And I was like, hmm, short movies? I didn't have the vision for that. And uh, okay, he discovered I was really determined to do this. Then he encouraged me. So we started composing songs, went to the studio. And one of the things I will never forget is the fact that this movie was shot when I was very, very busy with work. Then, when I look back retrospectively, I can see only the grace of God could have done this. I want to appreciate the cast. I want to appreciate the crew. Well, I really enjoyed every bit of this production. The movie Final Contest Honestly, uh, it's a wonderful movie. I want to appreciate all the crew and the cast for their dedication and cooperation during the shoot of this movie. Um, even though it was tedious, it was, um, it was um, ethic. We had to travel from one point to the other and uh, nobody complained. Nobody complained. But of course, uh, in summary, we thank God. Thank God for the production. The storyline is a story that um, everybody should watch. In actual fact, I want to recommend the movie Final Contest for every home, for every brother singles, uh, every sisters, every parent, every student. It is a must watch. You need to watch it. And um, of course, you need to buy it and make it as a gift for people. And give it to people during festive period. Honestly, you will never regret doing that.